Hey, I'm Anna from Audiologic and welcome to Tech Tuesdays episode 3. This week we're talking about the importance of acoustic treatment in a meeting room with little help from my friends at Eckler. Any room where speech intelligibility is key, acoustics should really be at the forefront of the design process. Modern meeting rooms are built using hard and reflective surfaces such as plaster and glass, and although these may look great, they can cause havoc on acoustics. In a meeting room, a common way around this can be to install an array microphone, which increases the focus on individual speakers. As great as they are, they aren't magic, and while they improve the clarity significantly, they can't fix an acoustically challenging room. For this reason, we often recommend supplementing a room with acoustic treatment. There are hundreds of variations on the market, and they all specialize in various different things. Recording studios often feature multiple types of acoustic treatment varying from diffusers, bass traps, and multiple different kinds of absorption, whether they target the entire frequency range or just that room standing waves. In general purpose areas such as classrooms, meeting rooms, things like that, we recommend a good all-rounder absorption panels such as something like the Eckler Acoustics range. A measurement that acoustic panels use for efficiency is the absorption coefficient. Now if you're new to acoustics, I promise this phrase isn't as scary as it sounds. The absorption coefficient is a way of representing the percentage of a sound that a surface absorbs relative to a specific frequency. An absorption coefficient of 1 absorbs 100% of the frequency, whereas a coefficient of 0 reflects 100% of the frequency. And with that, we'll have a look at the Eckler Acoustics absorption coefficient chart. There are two thicknesses of panels from Eckler, 40mm and 20mm. The 40mm is optimized at 500Hz and further, and the 20mm is optimized at 800Hz and upwards. For reference, human intelligibility is about 1 to 4 kilohertz, so we're looking at about 75 to 85% absorption for those frequencies, and that's a lot. Of course, it's not practical to line every surface in a room with acoustic panels. The goal is to reduce the room's RT60, that is, the amount of time that it takes for sound to decrease by 60 decibels. If you don't have special measurement equipment to figure out what the RT60 is in your space, we'd recommend downloading an RT60 calculator online, such as the one on Eckler's website. These will usually give you a good guideline on where to start and how many panels you should have in your space. Installation of these panels is really easy. Just choose a form and design and pop it into the Eckler Composer tool to choose the layout and design for your project. The panels I have here with me today include Velcro for attachment, and the ceiling panels include wires and attachments for suspension. As with anything installed on a wall, it's important to know that these are fireproof, following both American and European standards, shown below. And since we're always trying to reduce our carbon footprint, it's nice to know that these are made from recycled PET plastic. Hopefully this introduction to acoustics has been helpful and you can see how a few panels can make a huge difference in any room. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, we're always happy to help.